is the first black attorney in history, 1906. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, founded in 1908. Alpha Sorority Incorporated in 1911. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, founded in 1913. Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, founded in 1911. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, founded in 1920. Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, founded in 1914. And Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, founded in 1922. Divine. Google defines divine as excellent or delightful. But when we as African Americans hear divine, we think of the Divine Nine. The Divine Nine is a national Pan-Hellenic council composed of historically African American fraternities and sororities, also referred to as Black Greek Letter Organizations. The very first Black Greek fraternity was Alpha Phi Alpha, established on December 4th of 1906. The first Black Greek sorority was Alpha Kappa Alpha, founded in 1908. The rest of the Divine Nine, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority, Iota Phi Theta Fraternity were established later on in the early 1900s. It's important for young people to know about them and what they stand for. Being able to see people who carry themselves well, speak well, highly educated, um, I think that does good for just representation. It's very similar to commercials and just um, different career paths. When you see someone who has been to college, has um, made a name for themselves and carry themselves well, it's like, okay, I can do that just as easily as they did. When you know about the history and when you know about the legacy and the different opportunities that were afforded because members of the Divine Nine took a step forward. Um, for instance, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, we were the first sorority to march in the Women's Suffrage March, which propelled um, women activism during that time. So um, it's important for young, adults to know about the Divine Nine because a lot of people have the misconception that um, all we do is party and things like that, but we actually do a lot more um, in the community than people may be aware of. The Divine Nine was created for African Americans to align themselves with other individuals, sharing common goals and ideals. Uh, coming from my time in the military, I knew that when I went back to college, I wanted to be a part of a team that not only did well in the community, or as I say, I'm on the campus, but more so in the community um, for the long haul, not just during my collegiate years, but once again, too, as I grew. Um, have my professionalism grow as well, too, not just for myself personally, but once again, in the community that I was surrounded by. I believe in black excellence. And so when you're talking about uh, Kappa Alpha Psi or any of the other uh, Divine Nine fraternities and sororities, Really, one common thread through all of them is that. Um, it's about going to college, it's about graduating from college, it's about going on to do excellent things in all different areas of life. Within Black Greek sororities and fraternities, the sisterhood and brotherhood are essential parts of how they thrive and why people join. Those relationships that we forge are important to us um, for a variety of reasons, spiritually and emotionally. Um, the relationships that we forge, the brotherhood that we have um, is a, an essential part of being whole um, in our, our various communities. Oh, sisterhood is everything to us. Um, so it's just an amazing opportunity to have gained so many sisters. You have what are called line sisters when you pledge, um, and those are like your core sisters that you are with. Um, throughout the, your entire process, but then you also gain um, sisters that are that have been made over the years um, within your chapter. So it's just um, that ability to come together with other Black women and to ex um, explore like just life together. The Divine Nine has been a symbol of what it means to be a visionary, strong leader, and excellent. Each of these organizations were established with unique core values, but shared a common goal, to educate and uplift the black community from racial inequities. We aren't just representations of black excellence. We are divine.